Today we're removing the front bumper off this Nissan Maxima. This will of course be on our website as well at carsandtoys.net under the body shop section on the site. Additionally, we do have a playlist for the Nissan Maxima. I'll include the uh, link in the description box below. Now before you begin, just make sure you disconnect the terminals going to the battery. So the vehicle has already been jacked up. We have jack stands on the frame rail and we have the front passenger and driver's side wheel removed. Now right underneath the front bumper, you should have a plastic piece. In fact, you can even see the uh, the points where the bolts were. In this case, they were 10 millimeter bolts. So if you still have that plastic piece on here, just remove the bolts and the, the lower plastic piece just easily removes right from the vehicle. Now we have this fender protector both on the driver's side and the passenger side. And what we need to do is remove all of the screws. You'll have some uh, clips. Remove everything holding on this sucker, again, both on the driver and passenger side. Then we can go on to the next step. held up by two clips. You have one on the passenger and one on the driver's side. These are a little tricky. What you have to do, if you take a look right in there, you can do this two ways. You can insert a flathead screwdriver, turn it 90 degrees, and on the back, let's see if I can get this, right there what you need to do is once you rotate it 90 degrees, you grab a pair of pliers, squeeze it, squeeze the back here, and the clip comes right out. It's a little tricky, so just be patient. Then you have a screw right here holding on the side combination lamp, so we'll remove this on the driver's side and the passenger side. Now for the fog light you have a screw right here, it's just a simple Phillips, this pops out. Now with that cover removed you should have two 10 millimeter bolts. Now in this case the bolts were completely shot, I had to drill them out in fact. And then when it comes to reinstalling them you can get brand new bolts, you can re-tap the threads and put in brand new bolts or you can just get very thick clips and the clips also do a very good job of holding the fog light in place, but really if you want to do it right, you can get a tap set, re-tap everything and put brand new bolts in it. You know, whatever works for you, but the clips are, uh, are perfectly fine as well. And regarding the clips, you can get them online. Quickest really is just go to your local 
auto parts supplier and they have a whole section just on clips okay Now the front headlights are held by four bolts. You have two on the side, these are 10 millimeter, and then you have two on the rear, one down there, I just removed the first one, and then you have another guy right here where my finger is. So two in the back, and two on the sides. Now with the headlights removed, you have three 10 millimeter bolts right here, and then another three on the passenger side. And then we have three bolts right in the middle of the bumper, and then clips, one clip should be here, it's missing. We have another guy right here. Now where the fender meets the front bumper, you have three bolts that we need to remove. And you have one right here, one right in the middle, and then one right up there on top. <laughs> 